Hello guys, welcome back to John's Workshop and in this video we're going to handle part two of the welding bench. So the next job is to focus in on the bottom shelf and I alluded to this at the end of part one. So we're going to be making some more framework, I've done a bit more design work, I've cut some material ready to go and I'm just in the process of fixing the first two bits to the framework. I've got the framework upside down at the minute because we're working on the underside. So I'll bring you in a bit closer, we'll get the welding gear set back up and we'll start tacking the framework in place. And that's why guys when you're welding and you smell a, a burning smell that you're not really expecting you should stop and have a look. I've just had to um I've just had to pull my leg out. <laughs> I think I need some new trousers. I don't think Mrs. John's workshop's gonna be very impressed with that. Well the good news is we've got those two bits tacked on, so we'll carry on with the next part.
Let's try it with some gas. Much better.
Right guys, we've got that little bit welded up, so that's going to be for the gas bottle for the sort of lower floor deck. I've got some more bits of steel cut, so a few just bits and pieces, short bits, a bit to go in between here just to brace the bottom of the shelf, and a few other bits and pieces of steel cut. Um, unfortunately it's going to be a short video this week because Thursday this week I came down early for work in the house and it felt incredibly cold. Went into the boiler where we've got our oil boiler and there was water all over the floor. So it's a very old oil boiler. It's a Trianco um, oil boiler, 33 kilowatt, 110,000 BTU oil boiler and it's very old and I'm going to cut to a couple of photographs probably now. So here you can see the boiler, as I said it's a Trianco made in Sheffield, I think as best I can date this it's 19, late 1980s, early 1990s so it's, it's, you know, it's getting on 30 years old I would think. Um, and yeah the, it, there was water all over the floor, no heating um, and as I dug a bit deeper, I, so the first thing I needed to do was drain the system so that to stop it leaking everywhere so got that done went back to work and then later in the day had a bit more of a look at it and you can see in the second picture here this is the heat exchanger which is made of steel fabricated steel and the heat exchanger is completely shot it's it's just corroded and it's the boiler's dead you know it's 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 an old inefficient boiler so as you can imagine this week's been quite a difficult week with all of that going on and 10 minutes after I drained the system and got everything sort of under control and went back to work it started snowing um, <laughs> as it does up here so um, it's been yeah it's been a challenging week um, I've had a plumb around we've got a quote and I hope you're all sitting down five and a half thousand pound to have that fixed so that's that's the challenge, so that would have bought me another Harrison M300 and another milling machine uh, to look at it in those terms. So yeah, slightly disappointed, but it's part of life and part of owning a house. You've just got to crack on with it and make the best of it. So yeah, limited time in the workshop this weekend, guys, obviously for obvious reasons. Been busy trying to keep the house warm and, and various things. We've got electric heaters, we've got a, a log burner in the front room so we're just trying to keep things warm that way so apologies for the short video this week um, so I'm hoping well we'll see how we get on for next week I'm hoping that I will get at least a bit of shop time before next weekend and we can crack on with a bit more of the welding trolley or back onto machining or something I'll see how the, how the week goes and what I can squeeze in, in it's going to be shortened hours this week just based on what's going on so but I will try and get something out for next weekend. So yeah, this has been a short video. So as usual, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, guys. And we'll catch you all very soon, hopefully, on another video.